exactly where Nick goes also. As we said, he's been playing up the ground. We think he'll do that again, but I wonder how far he's going to push up with Frawley. We're ready to go. Cyril will be dangerous. It's St Kilda and Hawthorne. Round 10 from Etihad Stadium. And the Saints kicking to the locket end. The Hall of Fame end as far as they're concerned. He rips it into the middle. Isaac Smith, who's been in fine form. He's got a big, powerful, long left foot. Didn't really favour Hale, but he worked so hard to get it down to his teammate. And Jack Gunston does the rest. Oh, what a goal. Wow. Exciting start from both sides. Two, obviously, contrast. Oh. He didn't need to do it in that fashion. Yeah. He was so close to the line anyway. Just yeah. wonder whether Mitchell shouldn't have just had a shot at yeah. goal. Jono. Well, Bruce yes. to Hodge. Hodge in the second attempt. And this time the mark is taken by Sean Makers. 15 metres out. It was specifically to expose the shortness of the St Kilda defence, and he's done that immediately. Sean Makers, point blank range, gets the goal, his first, and the Hawks get their second. Yes, uh, the defend, Montagna waiting down in front. It was looking for Ray. Oh, okay. uh, it wasn't 15, said the umpire. You can play on Billy oh. Hartung. Billy does play oh. on, oh. and he plays on with a ripping goal. Oh, oh wow. That will be seen some great Billy Hartung, the first round draft pick from last year for the Hawks. They'd be really excited about this. Didn't go the full 15. The umpire called play on. Then he just notchingly just whacks it on the left foot and snaps it around the cor corner, Jerry. Well, he's a fantastic young player, Billy. He adds to their uh, speed and he's got great skills, as you can see. And a good call from the up. He has, uh, he has third up. It's a block. Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis. Oh. The pressure mounts. Oh, yes. Here we go, Jared. This is juicy. <laughs> yeah, man, each week it drifts away further and further. Oh, it's an easy game from up here. It is. It's very easy. Jordan Lewis should just come in and go bang. Yes, just like that's that. What he does. <laughs> Simple. He did. He, uh, he really uh, he was able to come back at the gear. That's really impossible oh, for a defender. Oh, well, he's let himself down that. with the kick. Yeah. Dempster pokes it forward. Straight back to Roughhead once again. Now Gunston. Gunston just goes for a quick pass. It's not going to work, but Rioli's lurking. Here goes Cyril. Cyril bends it back. Bends it back. <laughs> what a Germany. <laughs> the little master does it again. At the moment, he's uh, he's uh, papering over some cracks yeah, in the walls yeah, at the present yeah. time, and they are playing champagne football or attempting to play some champagne football, but it's not based on hard work forward of the centre. I think they're backmen would be entitled to uh, sit them yes. down at half-time and say, listen, <laughs> fellas, just let's get back to the, uh, the hard-working days of uh, what made us a great premiership side because a little One bit... marks to 11 this quarter. Oh, oh boy, they don't need any help like that, Hawthorne. Handing yeah. shots for goal on a platter to men who are generally such great shots at goal as Luke Bruce. Just a couple of steps. And full-toed odds he pays. It's a goal to Bruce. Well done there. Really good Sean finish. Makers was a target. Geary couldn't take it. Rioli chips in now. They're threatening once again, Hawthorne, because Hill is loose. That's more like the Hawthorne of the last... Quite often it's Hill and Smith can pop up and take, take marks inside 50. Hill was dynamic against the Suns with 33 disposals. And he's kicked his first goal for the day. So as we head to the Saints defensive coach... As the Hawks share it around... Isaac Smith stuck on his wrong side, so retreats a little to Ray. Good. Nice little step to get around Acres. Got within range, and then bang! Fantastic. Launched another one. That's his first, and it's a beauty. Great step, wasn't it? Inside, opened it up, as you said. Probably got it about 80%. Cool. And uh, he got it accurately, which I'm sure is the major element for it. Alistair Clarkson at the present time. Coming off that half-back line again, just holding it. It was unsuccessful. They'll take it towards the boundary line. Got to be kept in play for the moment. Mitchell swung in a 360. Shield waiting down, gets the hand pass away. Little flick in towards goal is good. Hodge's got him going in the third turn. Yeah, good finish there by Luke Hodge. Took his time there. He didn't rush the snap. Segler decides to go straight towards roughhead territory, who used the body. And that created a putt. He can make it an even eight goals. Okay. 
good finish there. Yeah. Nice little soccer there. It's going to get all the way to Isaac Smith, who had to work under his left, so decided to bail out. Shields to the top of the square. Shields' kick, and Bruce was there to pounce. It's a block, Oregon. Kicks if that was the case. <laughs> that, that was, that's not as great for a kick. So show and makers in front of the sticks here. And he threads it right through. That's his second. And the margin back out to 46 this points. This time he gets clear to get a kick down towards the half forward line. The bouncing ball eludes most. Hodge snaps, goals. A little too easy. And Hodgie likes it. Yeah. And having already a very healthy percentage coming into this game, this is only going to help them. Well, it's only getting better and better by the second now. So as very concerned about him at the moment. Mitchell up to 24 disposals. Gunston kicks his second. And the Hawks fifth to the corner. It's a really tough matchup, Jack. Jack, Jack to be Jack. able to contest. Hill hands it off. Gunston with a careful yeah. kick, hoping that Cyril can jump. And he knocked it down, and Ruffhead kicked a goal. <laughs> They can change roles at any moment, the Hawks. Oh, they work it through Hill. Advantage paid, taken by Mitchell. Oh, he kept them guessing, did he? It was a clever kick. Everyone thought it was going to Gunston. Oh. Rough there, that's a bit luxurious, but <laughs> it comes off. And Gunston puts it through for his third. Just more intent on the player than the ball. Hale coughed it up. Hodges there again. Again, poked through by Hill to Rough it. And he can line them up. Yeah, don't know how he didn't have anyone on him there, but uh, good reward for Roughhead. I think he's worked really hard this time and gets a reward, pops up on his own. As we talked about, his goal numbers have been down a little, basically from three to two per game. And last year when he kicked 75 goals in the season, which was his equal best, he slots that one through. It's his second. Yeah, like his fourth. No, he's going to pass it, Sandy. Sure. He's always going to do that. You see the St. Kilda defenders, they were switching off. Very unlikely guns. Shields kicked one earlier in the day. That was in the third quarter. That looks pretty good. He's got two now. And the Hawks going on their merry way here now. 17th goal goes They're on. Going the shaped it with a deep kick. Can Cyril squeeze his way into this one? He still might be able to rough it. Pokes it for Isaac Smith. Could have gone to Cyril, but went on his own steam instead. Another one of the Hawks. That's his first. They're turning it on now in the finals. Nagiri again. Head down, tried to charge through. Now Delaney's almost got to do it oh. on his own. Ruffy for oh. another one. Oh. Thank you very much. Well done, Ruffy. Good follow-up there. He's oh, going to the Michael there, Brown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kick goes out to Hale. They're making the degree of difficulty hard for themselves, but it's not a problem. Just cruising by Isaac Smith. He pumps it up to half forward. Hodgie's been having a rest there. Back it goes to Hill. They can get them from anywhere at the moment. And Ruffy will let that one fly over his head and float through for another. And that's his second goal, Brad Hill. Yeah, and 80 plus points now yeah. to him. So he led back at Acres and he was able to take the mark and chip it in board to Shen, who's had a big battle on Jack Gunston. So the siren sounds, and the Hawks have had a big win here. But the Saints have kicked a couple of late goals, and this is to make it the last three. And he pokes it through. So there's something in it for the Saints. But the Hawks just reminding us all how powerful they are as a unit. As they push up towards top four, they've won by 63 points. And then he had Stadium over the Saints. Yes, no, they'd be pretty happy with that win. They were slopping the first half, no doubt about that. Trying to bite off more than they can chew. We know they are really good kicks, Hawthorne, but a bit of nonchalant was the word that was used in that first half. And Clarko gave them a bit of a clip at half time on the ground, which is rare to see. But they certainly performed a bit better in the second half. St Kilda ran out of energy. The tackling pressure dropped away in the second half. And the centre square work was, was horrible, really. Uh, Hawthorne were able to dominate that area of the ground.